Hello, uh, good morning everyone. My name is Sonali Hello and I am the assistant professor in the Ajay Kumar Gar Engineering College. Today's topic is the anomalies and its types and the normalization form. Now we will start. First of all, we will discuss anomalies and its types. Uh, first of all, I will tell you what is the anomalies. Anomalies are the problem that can occur in poorly planned and normalized way in the database where all the data is stored in one table. So there are three types of anomalies that can arise in the database because the redundancy are insert anomalies, delete anomalies, update or the modification anomalies. Again, I will tell you what is the anomalies. Anomalies are the some problems that occur uh, that are occur in our database due to some uh, some modification or due to the some command that is the insert command, delete command or the update command. Now we will discuss one by one uh, each uh, each and every uh, anomalies that is the insert anomalies. First of all, I will tell you what is the insert anomalies. Suppose, uh, suppose uh, here is an example of uh, uh, the uh, customer or here is an example of the employment and department and this relation contain a number of attributes that is the employee ID, employee name, city, department ID, department name and manager. Okay? And these are the attributes and with the help of these attributes, uh, there are some values or tuples present in this table and uh, uh, initially uh, I want to tell you here I want to uh, insert some uh, extra department that is the suppose here we want to insert a department IT that has been started by the organization but initially they there is no employee appointed for the department. Initially in our example in our employment department there is only two tuples and both the tuples belong to the department that is the CE. But in future we want to suppose want to add one more department that is the IT but initially there is no employee in this uh, department. So, if we want to insert the department detail in the employment table, employment department table, if we want to insert that detail in the given relation, so then we, we must do add a tuple for this department. But here the tuple for this department cannot be inserted into the table as employee ID will have the null value. As you can see that here initially there are two uh, tuples that bo both are belong to the uh, CE department. But if we want to insert the uh, another tuple that belong to the IT department and uh, suppose we want to insert that in as a third row but we can't do that because, because this table has a primary, co pi primary key that is the employee ID and employee ID can never be the null. So here if we want to insert the third tuple belongs to the IT department but we, ca we can't do that because here the employee ID corresponding this tuple is null. And this is not a condition, this, this is not the characteristic of the primary key, primary can never be null. So here it create a problem, it create an anomaly here. If we insert this, uh, this tuple, this third tuple in our uh, relation, that create an anomaly and this anomaly is called the insert an anomaly because uh, due to the inertion, uh, inertion of the third tuples, we create a problem and that is the insert anomaly. But the tuple or we can say that uh, this kind of problem in this relation where some tuple cannot be inserted is known as insert anomaly. Here we can't be able to insert the third tuple because there is no primary key already mentioned for the IT department. So here, here, uh, prob here is a problem arise and this problem is called the insert anomaly. Uh, that is uh, now second one is the or again I will uh, I will again tell you uh, an insert anomaly occurs whenever the certain attributes cannot be inserted into the database without the presence of the other attributes. Here uh, I already tell you if want to uh, if I we want to insert the IT department we cannot do that because its corresponding primary key is null and it can never be happen in the database. The primary key can never be null. So here, here uh, the problem is called the insert anomaly. Now, the second uh, second one anomaly is the delete anomaly. What is the delete anomaly? As I told you, the insert anomaly, a yeah, delete anomaly as a word indicate the delete. A delete anomaly exists when certain attribute lost because of the deletion of another attributes. If we want to insert, if we want to delete some attribute, but without uh, some attributes, but due to the deletion of that attribute, some undesirable attribute also deleted. This is called the delete anomaly. Uh, 
here again i will tell you or i will explain this with the help of the delete anomaly uh, with the help of the example here uh, i have an example called the employee department an employee department consists the number of tuples that is the employee id name city department name department name and the manager initially only two tuples are present in this relation and the primary key of this relation or uh, is the employee id one and two now consider there is only one employee in some department it initially we will consider that only one employee is present in the id department and that employee leave the organization only now consider there is only one uh, employee in the department it and that employee leaves the department suppose uh, if there is a condition is uh, condition like that only one department is present only one employee is present corresponding to a particular department and if you want to delete that tuple from that uh, uh, relation so but in addition to that information about the department also deleted if we delete that particular tuple of that particular department that is here only one row is belong to the it department if we delete that particular only one row that is belong to the IT department, then its corresponding IT department are also deleted from our relation. So here the problem is called the delete anomalies because if we want to delete the uh, J details, that is the third row. I think here is a missing third row is belong to the J. Uh, J is the employee name and it is belong to the. Here is the third uh, employee ID that is belong to the J. I suppose it is belong to Delhi and department ID is 2 and it is belongs to IT and manager is Mohit. So if only one row that is belong to the IT department and if we want to delete that depart, uh, delete that tuple from this relation uh, the uh, detail of J then along with that the it department are also deleted so the it department detail are also deleted from this relation that's why this is called the delete anomaly i uh, we want only delete to the j details but along with that we also deleted the undesirable attribute that is the it department and this gives the delete anomalies as i told you earlier delete anomaly exists when certain attribute is lost due to the deletion of another attribute here the it department is lost due to the deletion of the j uh, details and this is called the uh, delete anomaly now next one is the ad, uh, update anomaly as i told you earlier the insert and the delete and the next one is the update update anomalies exist when one, uh, one or more records or we can say that the instance of a duplicate data is uh, updated but not at all suppose we have a suppose we have a phone number uh, and our, uh, we have changed our phone number but we updated our phone number some of the places in our the database but not at all so here there is a condition called the update anomaly like i will explain it with the help of one example and the example here is the employee department an employee department consists the different different attributes that that is the employee id employee name city d name manager okay and there are four initially four tuples in this relation that is and the, here is the primary key is the employee id that is one two three four here the uh, if we want to update the manager of ce department here we want to update the manager of the ce department suppose the manager of the ce department has changed this required that manager in all the uh, tuples in all the tuples corresponding to the department must be changed to reflect the new status here is two tuples that is belong to the CE and if the uh, department uh, manager that is uh, Saha is a uh, change to he, and it is our responsibility to change in both the tuples. We update this name with the other another name who is now considered as the manager of the uh, C department but by mistake or by any failure we uh, fail to update the tuples of a given department then two different records of the employee working in the same department might show the different manager lead to the inconsistency in the database suppose uh, if we want to change the manager of the c department so then it's our responsibility to update that manager in both the places but we fail due to some reason we update only one place okay we only one place and uh, forget in this place here the department name is same 
but the manager corresponding to that department is different then this is called the update anomaly if we uh, if we update something so it means we update that particular record at everywhere whatever it present in our database but if we uh, fail to do uh, to do uh, do that then it create the update anomalies so here these update anomalies is a very uh, harmful or uh, we can say that is a is a is not a good thing in our database if our if our database contain this type of anomalies then it create the data redundancy data inconsistency and we and uh, if if our data is inconsistent and redundant then we are not able to fetch our data in future as per our requirement okay so now the next is how to deal with insert delete and the update anomalies now the point is that how to how do we overcome these problems in our database how do we overcome this problem in our database that is the insert anomaly delete an anomaly and the update anomaly here uh, such type of anomalies in the database design can be solved by using the normalization if in our database such type of problem arises then we can solve these anomalies or these problems in database design with the help of the normalization here we will discuss what is the normalization and how and what is the process to normalize a table okay now uh, we start here the new topic that is the normalization and its normal form first of all what is a normalization normalization is just a process of removing the redundant data from the tables to improve the data integrity scalability and storage efficiency as i uh, told you earlier so whenever we uh, get the problem that is the uh, uh, problem of the anomalies that is the insert update and delete so uh, with the help of this problem in our database there is a chances of the redundant data there is a chances of the inconsistent data so we do a process that is called the normalization normalization is a process of removing all this problem to make our tables uh, best one that is to improve our data integrity to improve the scalability and the storage efficiency now we will discuss one by one what is the data integrity what is the scalability and what is the storage efficiency data integrity means completeness accuracy and consistency of data whatever the data is present in our database must be complete must be accurate and must be consistent there is no changes there is no uh, modification in our data data always be accurate as we inserted earlier scalability means the ability of a system to continue to function when in a growing amount whenever the uh, uh, load of our system of our server is increases but uh, the but our system must be performed as well in a well uh, in a uh, growing amount of load a storage efficiency just means ability to store and manage the data that consume the uh, least amount of space storage efficiency means when the uh, when the anomalies occur in our database there is a chances of the redundancy and the inconsistency so then uh, in this condition when the uh, same data is present in uh, multiple places there is a chances of the uh, duplicacy then here is a here is just a concept that is the wastage of storage so we uh, try to store or manage that data that consume the least amount of space now what is the normalization normalization generally involve is splitting the existing table into multiple tables and we can rejoin or link is time a queries issue or we can say that normalization is just a process in which table we get this type of problem or we can say that we get the uh, anomalies in any one table we just split split the table into the number of tuples num sorry number of tables as our requirement as we just split the tables in number of tables that is a two or three it depend on the condition how we remove that all the anomalies whatever the present in our uh, database there are so many uh, normal forms that is the first normal form that and the second normal form third normal form bcnf that is the boycott normal form fourth normal form and the fifth normal form here they are the uh, five to six normal form and when we go when we move from the first to fifth enough number of tables and complexity increases but the redundancy decreases as we go uh, one to fifth uh, we can uh, we can say that the number of tables and complexity increases but the redundancy or consistent redundancy decreases now we start from here what is the first normal form first normal form here is the some condition for the first normal form 
here is a condition for the first normal form and condition is that each cell of a table should contain a single value single value or we can say that only atomic value a relation is it in first normal form if and only if it doesn't contain any composite attribute or the multi value attribute or their combination for a relation we can say that it is in the first normal form if and if only it contain uh, the atomic value or if and only if doesn't contain any composite attribute or any multi value attribute or their combination or we can say that a relation is in the first form of if and only if all underlying attribute must contain the atomic value now here uh, again we will discuss what is the composite attribute and what is the what is the composite attribute and what is the multi value attribute multi value attribute means in a same cell whenever two values is present like there is a subject ds and there is a subject dbms or we can say that when your uh, uh, phone number uh, or we can say that the same this is road we can uh, talk about the road city like this when we talk about the multi value attribute multi value attributes means in a cell two values are present and in the composite attribute attribute means name like we can further divided name into three part that is the that is the first name middle name and that is the last name this type of attribute is called the composite attribute Uh, that attribute which uh, which are able to divide in uh, divide in further parts multi value means when a uh, same cell contain the number of values a relation is first enough when uh, it doesn't contain the multi value attribute or the composite attributes or uh, we can say that uh, a relation is uh, is an only in first normal form when ever all the underlying attribute must contain the atomic values now we will explain the first normal form with the help of a example here a relation that is called the customer and it contain three attributes that is the uh, customer id name and address and uh, the uh, first one is uh, and customer id is the primary key of this relation and the name is raju and address is this second is co2 name and address like this here they, here are three tuples of a relation now the point is that in this uh, customer relation address is a composite attribute here we can say that whatever the at, uh, address present here address is in the format of the composite attribute so um, it means we can divide this address into uh, into the uh, sub attributes so that's why this customer relation is not in first enough as i told earlier in the definition of first normal form first normal form uh, should contain the atomic value it doesn't contain the composite attribute as well as the multi value attribute but here uh, the address is a composite attributes that's why this relation is not in the first normal form now another point is that if suppose it contain this uh, already contain the multi, uh, composite attribute but whatever the problem arise when a uh, cell contain the multi value attributes problem is that uh, it is difficult to retrieve the list of customer living in a metro city from the customer table for us it is a very difficult process to find out the list of a customer uh, who are living in the metro city this is because why it is difficult to us to retrieve the uh, list of customers because uh, here the address attribute here the whatever the attribute uh, address is a composite attribute which contain both the road and city together and here it is that problem when we are talk about the one and f the multi uh, the composite attributes never be uh, uh, able to insert into the cell so it is the possible it is possible that uh, ki city name word is also there in the word name here mathura is here mathura is a road name but here mathura is a city name here so it is a very difficult process to us to find the list of customer who living in a mathura city because here mathura is city but here mathura is road so we are not able to find that type of uh, data from our table so in our example mathura words come in both records in the first record it is a part of the road name and in the second record it is a part of the city name so Uh, this is not in the uh, first normal form 
तो वी हैव टू नॉर्मलाइज दिस गिवन रिलेशन देन हाउ वी कैन डू दैट हेयर दिस इज आर गिवन रिलेशन दैट इज द कस्टमर एंड द थ्री एट्रीब्यूट हेयर वी डिवाइडेड दिस कंपोजिट एट्रीब्यूट वॉट एवर द कंपोजिट एट्रीब्यूट प्रेजेंट हेयर वी डिवाइडेड दिस एट्रीब्यूट इन टू द टू पार्ट मीन्स वी डिवाइडेड दिस कंपोजिट एट्रीब्यूट इन टू द सब एट्रीब्यूट एंड द सब एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ दिस एड्रेस इज द रोड एंड द सिटी ओके फर्स्ट टू कॉलम वी प्लेस हेयर एज इट इज बट द एड्रेस एट्रीब्यूट दैट इज द कंपोजिट एट्रीब्यूट वी डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू पार्ट दैट इज द रोड इन द सिटी रोड कंटेन द रोड नेम and the city contain the city name again nehru road is means the nehru road and the mathura is city and here cz road is the name of road and faridabad is the city so here the uh, here the uh, condition for the first and of is satisfy here there is no uh, composite attribute present and no multi value attribute present and each and every cell must contain a atomic value this is the important point of the for the first nf here after normalize this table into this we get four attributes that is the uh, customer id that is the primary key of this relation name road and city and here is no concept of the multi value attribute or the composite attributes so the solution of our uh, the earlier problem is that divide the composition composite attribute into the number of sub attributes and insert the value in a proper sub attributes so we can do the same uh, the composite attribute is divided into the road and the city and we put the value according to that road and the city name now it and this is question uh, this is again exercise question here uh, here we have a employed uh, here we have a table or a relation uh, that is the person and uh, the here in this relation there are two three attribute that is the person id full name and city person id here is the primary key of this relation that is the p01 and uh, the full name that is the raju mahesh bhai patel as it is a delhi again if we uh, if we want to ask you if this relation is in first normal form or not no this relation is not in first normal form because the full name here is a composite attribute here the full name is a composite attribute here the full name is a composite attribute that's why this relation is not in the first normal form okay so if we want to convert this relation into the first normal form we divide this uh, composite attribute into the sub attributes and we do that like uh, and we can do that like this suppose uh, this is a given relation we normalize this relation into this to convert this given relation into the first nf here the person id full name we divide this uh, composite attribute into the sub attribute that is the first name middle name and this is this is the last name and this is the city person id is p01 full name first is raju second is mahesh and mahesh bhai and third is patel and city is delhi okay the given relation we have divided into the Uh, we have converted this relation into the normalized form and whatever the composite attributes present here we divided this uh, composite attribute into the three part that is the sub attribute that is the first name middle name and the last name and uh, we put and we insert the values according to this uh, the first name here is raju and the uh, middle name is mahesh bhai and third that is the last name is a patel now this this relation is in the first nf because it fulfill the because it fulfill the property of the first nf that is each and every cell should contain only the atomic value and there is no multi value attribute and no composite attribute that's why this relation is called in the first nf but it is not in first nf because here the full name is the composite type attributes okay so time mein bata dena kitna ho gaya okay
and uh, here uh, here again uh, one example of the first nf uh, again we have a relation this is called the student and the student relation contain the three attributes that is the roll number name and the fill in subject and the roll number is the primary key of this given relation and this relation contain the six tuples and uh, uh, as we uh, as we look that uh, uh, this uh, relation is not in the first nf because is not fulfill the property of the first nf first nf uh, uh, said that uh, it contain only contain only the atomic value but in this uh, attribute that is a fail in subject it contain two value in a single cell that why uh, that's why this relation is not in the first nf and uh, due to this uh, due to this uh, uh, attributes what is the problem arise it is difficult to retrieve the list of a student filled in dbms as well as in the ds but not in the other subject from the student table uh, now question is that if you want to retrieve the list of a student who filled in dbms and ds but not filled in the other subject like the de and whatever the other subject present here this is the problem we are not able to re retrieve the data because this uh, why we cannot retrieve this data because here the fill in subject attribute is multi value attribute and in the definition of the first nf uh, the attribute doesn't be composite and doesn't be multi value so that's why this given relation is not in the first nf because attribute contain more than one value so then how we can convert this uh, given relation into the first nf this are uh, this is are the given relation we uh, can uh, we decompose this relation into two tables that is the student and the result uh, or again we can say that what is the solution of our problem is split the table into two table in a such a way that the first table whatever the first table is student table contain all attributes except the multi value attribute it contain all attributes whatever present in our given relation except the fill in attribute it doesn't contain the fill in attribute because it is a multi value attributes with the same primary key whatever the primary key in our the given relation here the same primary key that is the roll number and the second table that is the result contain multi value attribute that is the failing subject and place a primary key in it here whatever the primary key is here we place it here again and it uh, and uh, whatever the primary key present here we also put here and it work as a foreign key with the help of this uh, uh, primary key we can relate to this table the, uh, this table is called the result table in uh, it and it is also have a primary key that is the result id and uh, whatever the uh, third attribute that is the fill in subject we convert into as a subject we put is the result id that is 1 to 5 and so on the first that is the raju fill in two subject that is the dn dbms okay for uh, for raju that is the result id 1 roll number is 101 failing ds okay and again the 101 that is id 2 raju matlab 101 belongs to raju is fail again dbms whatever the number of values present in this cell we divided the first roll number into that part again the roll number 102 contain the two values again we divided this into two rows that is the 3 and 4 but here the third tuple that is the j it fail in three subject so that's why it's divided into the three parts like so ek minute like fifth one is uh, 103 belong ds again 6 103 it is failed in the dbms also and 7 like 103 it is ds in this way we can make our table into this given relation into the two parts and we uh, convert this given relation into the first nf I hope this is clear to all of you. Thank you.